Using a tightrope drill pin, drill a tunnel at the center of the femoral ACL footprint. Using the eyelet of the ACL tightrope drill pin, pass a fiberlink suture tape and snap for later use. Pass the small ring portion of the fiber ring over the tip of a fast pass scorpion suture passer. Load the single end of the fiber ring suture into the scorpion. From the medial portal, pass the fiber ring through the intact remnant of the avulsed ACL. Gently pull the end of the shuttle loop to cinch down the fiber ring forming the luggage tag stitch. Multiple fiber ring sutures can be added as needed. Use a fiber wire scissor to cut the fiber ring shuttle loop just below the splice, leaving two tails. Unravel the Tiger Wire Leader suture on the ACL Repair Tightrope Implant Assembly Card and load approximately 2 inches into the suture eyelet of the fiber ring shuttle loop. Pull the blue tail of the fiber ring shuttle loop to shuttle the leader suture through the luggage tagged fiber ring suture and back out the passport button cannula. Discard the fiber ring shuttle suture. Repeat this passing step to load the tightrope suture onto subsequent fiber ring sutures for additional luggage tag stitches. Once passing is complete, Cut and remove the Tiger Wire Leader Suture. Identify and unravel the open limb of the tightrope suture labeled 2 on the assembly card and pass through the previously shuttled ACL Repair Tightrope Loop. Load 3 cm of the single white suture tail labeled 2 through the Night and All Passing Loop. Fold the suture over the wire to form a crease to prevent any sliding during passage. Place two fingers over the top of the card and pull the blue threader to complete the pass. Pull the newly created white shortening strand to remove slack from the loops. Unsnap the packaging on the back of the card and pinch down the suture cleat to retrieve the sutures. The assembly card is opened, the construct removed, and the card discarded. Use the tibial guide with a 2.4 mm cannulated drill in the anterior third of the ACL tibial insertion. Once the cannulated drill is in position, Remove the drill guide, leaving drill pin in place. Remove the trocar from the cannulated drill and insert a lasso wire through the cannulation of the drill into the joint. Retrieve the lasso wire and carefully remove the drill pin from the tibia. Snap the ends of the wire together with a hemostat for later use. Retrieve the fiberlink suture tape through the passport cannula. Identify the white tightrope tensioning sutures and the blue tightrope passing suture and load all four ends into the loop of the fiberlink suture tape. Do not load the fiber tape into the loop. Using the FiberLink suture tape, shuttle the ACL repair tightrope through the joint and out the femur. Using the fiber tape in the medial passport cannula for counter tension, pull the blue tightrope passing suture to pass the tightrope button out the lateral femoral cortex. Pull the fiber tape to confirm the button has been flipped. With counter tension on the blue fiber tape, gently remove the slack in the tightrope suture by alternatingly pulling the white tensioning sutures 2 to 3 centimeters at a time. Retrieve the lasso wire out of the passport cannula in the medial portal and load the blue fiber tape into the loop. Pull distally on the lasso wire to shuttle the blue fiber tape out of the tibial tunnel. Place the knee in full extension and use the spade tip swivel lock drill from the ACL backup fixation kit to drill a pilot hole 1 centimeter distal to the tibial bone tunnel. The drill is calibrated with a hard stop at 20 millimeters. Use the included 5.2 mm tap to tap the pilot hole. Fix the fiber tape using a 4.75 mm swivel lock anchor. Put the knee through a range of motion and retention the ACL repair tightrope tensioning sutures to confirm final construct tension and complete the repair.